Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk about comedian Mark Curry. Mark Curry had called out Steve Harvey a long time ago for stealing his jokes way before Cat Williams even did this interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay. And if you missed what Cat Williams had to say about Steve Harvey on Club Shay Shay, let's check it out right here. Here's a video. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. So I'm taking them at face value. These are like, this is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that? You told us it was her then you went and married somebody else that think like a man okay i just wanted to highlight that clip because it's going to put everything into context in today's video so mark curry he had called out steve harvey a long time ago for stealing his material let's check out the clip right here here's the video halloween was a trip halloween we couldn't afford no halloween costumes hey kids please mama sent us down to the liquor store put boxes on us <laughs> we didn't know what we were i don't know what we are I don't know. She didn't tell her. <laughs> I think we UPS, I guess. I don't know. You've heard me say that every Halloween I had the same outfit on. Every year. I just had a brown box. I wasn't nothing sad. I just not asked my father, could I have a new outfit? And he said, no, just wear the same one. It was just a brown box. And he just told me to tell everybody I was a UPS man. Yeah. Uh, okay, so tell he, me he about never said thank you. Well, so what's up with you and Steve, man? I ain't nothing, I ain't nothing with me. He's, uh, well, Steve stole my material on his show, so I had a beef on that. On what show? On When he was on his the, the, the bullshit talk show he had, and he did he, he did all my Halloween material, one Halloween. I'm watching, uh, somebody called me and said, man, homeboy doing your material. So he did my whole Halloween run. And I know he didn't think of it. And, uh, this, this is true stuff that really happened to me. Mm -hmm. And so my thing is, you don't have to do that, homeboy. Mm, right. So, you know, motherfucker, you made enough money, bitch ass. You know? <laughs> wow. You made enough money. You did enough. You know, what? Wh why are you on my material? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, what's that about? You right. know, and then, you know, people want to jump up. Oh, he didn't know. He didn't steal your... So, yes, he did. Yeah. I mean, you know, so, you know... And so that, that, there's no need to, no one else has did that. Mm -hmm. to, so uh, this was on his talk show, which talk, was his TV talk show? His TV talk show. Okay, this was uh, the one he had on NBC just recently. Yeah, whatever. To yeah. you, right? I'm going to step to you. You ever step to him? Yeah, step to him. What'd you say to him? Yeah, yeah. tell I us mean, about you know, that. Tell, ask him. Okay, I will, that, but I, we got you. Was that the first time <laughs> that had ever happened to you? Um, no. No, okay. Before what I, irritated I you, you so much about Steve doing it then? Because he made it. He's he's okay. he's there. He's he's on national no TV. Need. You got you paid. You did your thing. You you try to either you fucking with me or you disrespecting mm. me or you you know <laughs> I I don't understand that you taking food out of my money. Mm. Uh, my uh, you know you taking whatever you know what I mean. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. Food I don't, out I don't that's I plagiarism. It. Right. Wow. So I mean, so we got you here. Steve yeah. ain't here. I'll yeah. ask Steve later. What'd you say to him when you when you stepped Accent. in? Accent. Okay. Accent. was it you guys work things out? Was it still No, I, I saw him at the um at the uh the um not the um the Def Jam twenty five. Oh Def Jam, mm. okay. So okay. when I see you, I see you. Okay. Okay, and recently on Twitter they had exposed and revealed the video of Mark Curry checking Steve Harvey to his face, man. Let's check it out right here. That comedy jam was a shit. It was black. It was funny. Yeah. It made a lot of people famous. Yeah. It made a lot of people rich. It made a lot of people household names. And you know what I'm talking about? Cedric the Antenna, 
Kleenex. It changed comedy forever. It opened doors. People talk shit about it, then they look like damn fools years later. Now, when you look around this room. Okay, so as we can see in that video right there, man, Mark Curry was definitely checking Steve Harvey. Man, I wish JB Smooth would come out and tell us what he had heard because he was definitely right there. And you can tell JB Smooth was trying his hardest to keep a straight face because you can definitely tell he was ear hustling and hearing what was going on between Steve Harvey and Mark Curry, man. But in Mark Curry's words, he had checked Steve Harvey for stealing his material. So, and I also want to talk about D.L. Hughley because a lot of people was wondering his response. And the only thing that we have is that D.L. Hughley had responded to some people on Twitter. So let's check out these tweets and then I'll be continuing with commentary while we're looking at these tweets. So as you can see right here, a Twitter user was just simply asking D.L. Hughley about the Cat Williams interview. And D.L. responded by laughing at the Twitter user's tweet. And then, you know, other people kept chiming in and was just like really trying to push D.L. to give his response. Because if you follow D.L. Hughley on social media, he is not shy to comment on anything. He's constantly on his social media platforms, reacting to stuff, giving out his opinions. So that's why a lot of his fans were really checking to see his response on this Cat Williams interview. Because you got to remember, Cat Williams did mention D.L. Hughley by saying, no D.L. Hughley slander will be tolerated. So I think D.L. Hughley did the smart thing by staying out of it. Because you got to remember, guys, of course, he was on the Kings of Comedy tour. So, you know, with Cat Williams talking about Steve Harvey and he got all these videos coming out about Steve Harvey stealing jokes. Other comedians talking about Steve Harvey like Mark Curry and others. So, you know, again, man, it's just one big messy situation that D.L. Hughley does not want to be a part of because he doesn't need to be a part of it. At the end of the day, Cat Williams said no D.L. Hughley slander will be tolerated. So he did the smart thing by staying out of that. So I just want to tell you guys that that's the only official responses that we have from D.L. Hughley is just responding to people on Twitter, laughing at their comments. So that's it for today's video, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. Don't forget to hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Hit that subscribe button as well. Catch you guys on the next video and we out, guys. Peace. So addicted to coffee. We first get our coffee. We sit down there. Good. We like our coffee, don't we? We just love our coffee. We go crazy over coffee. Isn't that crazy? As soon as you get that coffee, you like it. Mm. Mm. You can just sit here all by yourself. Remember, you used to, you used to want to talk to people. Now, with your coffee, you don't need nobody. Got my friend here. I don't need nobody. What are you doing? What? <laughs> coffee has become your best friend. You just, that's your friend. Look, you, just, you don't drop nothing. more sure when you sit it down it's stable you don't even sit it down you ever notice that you don't set that coffee down you hold that the whole time make sure ain't nobody coming to get your coffee mm. this is your new friend